This is the Old Moon Dream Group class at uh, National Chinan University, um, spring semester 2017. And would you tell, you're the first one, would you tell us your name and um, why you took a, a class in which you work with your own dreams? Why would you take that kind of class? Oh, first, my name is Debbie, and I'm year second, second year, second year, yeah. And I come to this class because um, I want to go to a graduate school and study psychological counseling. I think this class may relate it to it, may, probably, yeah. um, and I think knowing the dream, what I am dreaming for, is very interesting. Do you, uh, do you understand your dreams? Um, if I really <clears throat> want to know what I am dreaming for, I will make, I may Google it. you Google it? Okay. <clears throat> like, let's say, um, let's say you, um, let's say you, well, let me see how, I don't know how to say, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, I'm going to go to the next person, okay? Let me see if I can work this. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not bad. She did a good job. Okay, here we are. Now, your name is? Okay. Uh, my name is... Shh, shh, be quiet. Uh. Don't, don't, don't talk, because we're making a film. Okay? Listen. The, the, the two things you learn in this class, which means one is how to listen, and the other is how to ask questions, and these are very important things. Even if you learn nothing about dreams, you'll learn these two things. So practice the first one listening now, okay? So when a student, when another student talks, always listen to them. You know? Okay, so go ahead, tell him. Okay. Now, he, he may know everything about you. I don't know. But you may learn something new. Go ahead. Uh, can I start? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My name is Yu uh, The reason that I choose this course is because um, I believe that dream can explain something um, unconscious thinking or emotions of me. Uh, before that, I, I try to make some connection about my dream and my life. And then I get some conclusion. So I, I, I want to learn more about dream, how to um, explain our life and how to help to change. To change mm. our life? Mm. Okay. Well, I think you'll like this class. It seems like we have an interesting group here, at least these two so far. Um, whether the class is good or not doesn't depend on the teacher in this class. It depends on you. Okay, um, so do you think a course in dreams belongs in the social policy, social work department? There's a, there's a course, this is a course in dreams, but it's a, it's a course for majors in social policy and social work. Why would a course in dreams be in the social work department? Oh, uh, I, I think that um, uh, because dreams can explain, uh, because dreams uh, can explain our unconscious thinking or emotion that we we don't we don't like to admit. So uh, uh, we can show dream to help uh, clients to know what it what is uh, her or he real <coughs> thinking. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Okay, so the next one, are, are you all, you're all nervous here to see how easy it is? It's very, very easy for them. And what's your name? My name is Joanne. Joanne? Yes. And Joanne, and why are you here? Why uh, did you take a dream course? Uh, selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Last, Last semester. semester. Last semester. Last semester. Yes. Shu Yuan Lao's class, Shu Yuan teacher's uh -huh. class, uh -huh. talk a little about dream. Uh -huh. Yes. And at uh, my first grade in university, Shu Yuan Lao also talk about dream uh, more. So I think if I know more what I dream, 
maybe I can explore more myself. And if I know myself and what I uh unconscious. I know myself and when I want to help other people I can want her then hurt hurt then yes and I can protect myself. Okay, very good. So we have we have some good people here. Um, you want to say anything else? Oh, that's I it. Hope. That's it. Yes. Okay. Well, that's enough. Thank you very much. And now, the next person. Your name is. My name is Irene. <laughs> Irene Smirnoff's book, Du Mong Party, and. Uh, I very like this book because this book told very, very interesting dream stories. And uh, in this story, I read, I read other people's story, but in other street, sometimes <laughs> like see myself. Good. And so in other words, in some of these people's dreams, you read the, in the book about other people's dreams, but in the other people's dreams you see yourself. Yeah. And uh, I think dream is very interesting because some story in... <laughs> in, in <laughs> say it in Chinese and someone will say it, translate it if you want. Everyone is... My oh everyone is his dreams in the drama. Make the drama. Make every dream is very interesting. Try it, try it, try to say it. Every dream is very interesting. Yes. Because I can see my deep mind in my dream. You mean in the other people's dreams? You can see your deep mind. Oh, every dream of yours is interesting because you can see your deep mind in your dream. Yes. Right. Now, the deep mind is a dream, so what mind is in you? You know what I mean? If the dream is the deep mind, what mind are you? Sometimes I don't want to admit my... admit this is myself, but in my dream, we'll talk, this is myself. Yes, okay, very good. So I, with these people, so far these four, I don't know about the others, I'm not sure what you're going to get new here, but you're going to have an adventure, you know? If you know what you know, you're going to have an adventure in this class, because we're going to go all the way down, you know? and. Um, What's, what's the name of Shu Yan's book? Do you want to say it in Chinese? Du Mong Tanti. Uh huh. And how many people read it? A little bit? Okay. Okay, next person. You want to say anything more? No. That was very good. Well, this is, this is a good class. You know, you're lucky to land in a class like this. Um, okay, here's the, here's the next person. And your name is? My name is Jackie, and I come to this class. Uh, the first is uh, I very interested in psychological, and I feel dream is a is a main foundation when the people to to appear. Something will appear outside, but something will will in turn disappear. Wait, say it, I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, I, I, I feel dream is a, a very foundation, like, like the, I really say it's a deep mind. Uh -huh, deep mind. I want to realize and, uh, and know what the shambo in the shambo? What? What shambo? Symbol. Symbol. Oh, you want to know what the symbol in the dream means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how do we find that out? Now, she Googles. You Google, right? Is that a good way? I think Google is a good way, but another is maybe many, many different 
talking uh, talking about it. But Many different people have ideas about symbols, and they have yeah. different ideas. Yeah, okay. but I think uh, not very correct when I to explain my dream. So you're saying that a lot of people have different ideas about dream symbols, but they don't exactly fit your dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So I want to realize what I dream. And how can you do that? Huh? How? How? How do we do that? How do you realize? And to relate my true life. Exactly. Do you look at your dream through your life? Yeah. So is it a good idea what she's doing to Google? You said yes, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. <laughs> but, uh, but maybe it's not a good time to me. Not suit suit me. It doesn't suit me. Suitable. Yeah, not suit me. So I want to 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 uh, join the class to relax by myself. Okay, okay. In fact, to Google the meaning of a dream is a bad idea. It's sort of stupid. It's like, it's like if you have a, if she was looking for a boyfriend, would you Google which boy I should? <laughs> no. You have to pick the boy you like, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's not, the boy that you like may not be the boy she likes, you see what I mean? Or her. They may each like a different type of boy. Maybe you like wild boys, but she likes nice boys, and she likes rich boys, and she likes poor, you know what I mean? And that's the way the symbols are. If you dream of a horse, and she dreams of a horse, it doesn't mean the same thing, no matter what Google says. Now, Google will tell you some ideas. Freud has some ideas, donuts, telephone poles, Jung has ideas, you know, old men in a dream, shadows, things. And, but in your dream, nobody, nobody knows your dream except you. Only you, only the dreamer. That's the method we use here, the only method, which is the method of Wang Shuyen's book. You know, okay? So, um, you, you'll, you, you'll fit it. You know, we've got one, two, three, we've got some good people so far, very good. This is going to be an advanced class. So we should be able to go deep, okay? How many of you write your dreams down already? Anybody write their dreams down? You don't write dreams down. You read, do you write your dreams down? But you read Shreyan's book, right? And after you read that book, do you, write, you never write your own dreams down? Well, it's a good idea to write your dreams down because you forget them very quickly, okay? Now for this class, definitely do it. Now you don't have to bring them in. You can go through the whole class and never bring in a dream, but write them down anyway. And then when we work with dreams here, you have your own dreams, so you, you can make sense of your own dreams if you want. You don't have to share them. Okay, I'm going to turn to anything else you want to say? No. Okay, you did a good job. Now, let me go to the next person over here. I see you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tell them your name. My name is Li Yan. Li Yan. Social policy, social. Let me get control of this camera a second. Give me a second. And this, this, this man is an economics major who somehow stumbled in here, and with all these social work people. And let's see what, what he has to say. Um, would you tell me your name and why you took this course? My name is Gary, and the reason is I just want to learn something. That is different from my major, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's good. That's good to learn something that's different, right? Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you a question. But are there other course? You chose a dream course. Mm. Are you interested in dreams at all? <coughs> Why? Because sometimes I I dream and 
when I wake up, I just don't understand why why I dream this. Okay. Why does anybody know why people don't understand dreams? I mean, usually when you dream, often you don't know what it means. Why? Anybody know that? You people who read Sri Ann's book, do you know? When you dream, I mean, you have dreams, right? Do you understand your dreams? Yeah, you understand them, always. No. You do? And you? No? And you? No? Why don't people understand their dreams? You forget the dreams? Yeah, because... Well, let me come back to you. Because what? <laughs> because, because after because 10 minutes, I don't understand what is happening in my dream. That's why you have to write them down. They do vanish very quickly. So, but you understand your dreams. When you have a dream, you understand what it means. No, I don't know why. Why? Why don't people understand what a dream means? Anybody know? Do you know? Gary, do you know? Because they don't write down. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you write down a dream and you still don't understand. This is a question we'll ask ourselves. Let's, let's let the last person in. You have anything else to say? Okay, here's the very last person here. Other people are going to come today. Um, now, tell them your name and why you're here. Oh, hi, everyone. My name is Harry. Yes. Uh, I come here because I watch a movie. It's called 全面启动. Uh, I forget it. Inception. Is that Inception? Yeah, Inception. Uh, I want to know... Uh, <coughs> everyone share a dream, is that true or not? Is what true? <coughs> uh, everyone share a dream or in the same dream. Oh, people being in the same dream? Yes. Is it true or not? Yes. It, it will become true or not. What will become true? The dream? Yes. Uh, the, the thing. Oh, you think that it's, well, you want to know whether or not it's true that people can share the same dream? Yes, yes. Okay, that's called a mutual dream or a mutual lucid dream. And I've heard of it happening, but it's never happened to me. Boy, you're interested in that? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this class, the, the, what we do in this class is you have a dream, an ordinary dream, not a dream with many levels, although we have people, we have all kinds of people with all kinds of dreams. And when you come in, you don't know what the dream means, we work with it, and when you walk out, you know what the dream means. But about sharing dreams, that's, that's something different. We can't do that here, you know? Yes. <laughs> and the other reason, I don't want to, I, I want to know, uh, is our control the dream or the environment? Is our what? Is our control, uh, is we control? Do, do we control the dream or the environment? Yes. yes. Well, okay, now that's an interesting question. Does anyone have an answer? Who controls the dream? Well, the point is, especially the type of people that like Inception, they're interested in lucid dreaming. And are, does anyone know what a lucid dream is? A lucid dream is a dream where you dream and you know you're dreaming. And so these people, they want to control their dream. Um, the original woman, uh, Patricia Garfield, that published about this, they, her, she kept saying, oh, then you can have sex with anybody you want in a dream, you know. And this was back in the 60s, so everybody was always excited about that. Or you can fly, or you can, yes. you can uh, do all these things, you know what I mean? Yes. And they want to control the dream like an adventure, sort of like a computer game in a way. That's not what we do here in this class. For us, it's the opposite. We feel, with the Montague Omen method, we feel the reason dreams are so valuable, the reason they're so important, for us. The reason it's worthwhile spending three hours to figure one out is because we don't control them. And so they tell us the truth. You know? Like if I controlled my dream, it would only say what I wanted to say. Like in, in mainland China, everybody has to say, oh, Taiwan belongs to China. They have to, they have to say what the government wants them to say. They have to believe it, you know what I mean? And they don't have their own mind. 
we don't want that. The reason we're here to work with dreams is because we want to discover our own mind. Not the mind that we would put on ourselves, but the mind that's really there. So we want a dream that we don't control. A dream that we control, for us, is not that interesting because we're controlling it. The mind that controls it is a little mind. The dream mind is big, very, very big. It knows a lot of things. Okay? okay. Anything else? No. Okay, so that's the, that's the ones that came the first day, that's it. And I guess 